this is the use of Excel to help you if you're selling anything. You don't always need Excel to do things. However, if you're doing a lot, you need to have an understanding of costing, budgeting, and cost of doing business. I will go through this now. What it is, we have these gray boxes. We have to put it in formulas right now. Uh, to do this, the goal is you're, let's say, a jewelry maker. You're going to craft shows, and you need to know how much money you're going to make. For, so let's start over here. You want to know what it's going to cost to make this necklace. So you would be adding up these three numbers to the left. Uh, you could say equal this plus this plus this. So it's these three numbers. And let's say it takes three quarters of an hour uh, to do this. You um, are going to have a markup and you want to know how much you're making an hour when you sell one of these. So let's say you want to mark this up. Let's say a hundred percent. So if you're, you're in essence, you're doubling the price. So you would be doing the formula with the equal. And what it is, you're going to be adding to the cost six dollars and nine cents plus this number again times the markup which means it's 1218 let's say you're going to mark it up 150% it's now selling for 1523 you want to know how much you're making an hour on this. So what that would be is the you would probably figure this out. So it would be equal $15.23 minus the cost. I'm using parentheses so that that's what your profit was you want to know what you made in that three quarters of an hour and we were going to divide we're going to go back into this cell here we divide that it says twelve dollars and eighteen cents so if you're selling let's say 25 or you want to you want to know the profit the profit is the sale price minus this you're making nine dollars and 14 cents okay it doesn't mean it's pure profit and I've got other things interest listed in here there's a lot of things involved if you're ever selling a product or service. You might be driving to the craft fair or whatever. And, yeah, you have to pay for the gas. However, there is the wear and tear on the car. Parking, you might have to pay for that. Oil changes. Let's get back into here. So, you're doing a 150-mile thing here. You want to figure out what you're spending on the gas. So what it would be, it's equal the number of miles divided by the miles per gallon which is 6 here and then you multiply it times the cost of a gallon of gas you're spending 2250 now let's say you sell 25 units that day 
So it would be equal the units times the unit profit. You made $228. Pretty good. Next thing, you want to do the net profit. So it would be this minus this. You made $205 for the day. However, you let's factor in other things. The three hours to drive there and back, two hours to set up, eight hours there. So what it is, this is another 13 hours of your time. So I want to go into here. This is a little more complicated. It's equal the net profit. And all you have to do, you have to factor in the time to make each of these plus subtract or deal with the time here. So it's equal. <clears throat> Excuse the throat. There's the net profit. You're going to divide it by, I'm going to use parentheses here, uh, 75, 3 quarters of an hour times the 25 units you sold plus each of these. Now, I'm going to talk about this in a second. This, in essence, is correct. However, division multiplication takes precedence. So let's put this all in parentheses. Close the parentheses. Close this out. Let's make it look like currency. You're making six ninety two an hour. But let's say you become more efficient putting this together. It takes you half an hour. You're making eight seventy six. Not much more over minimum wage. A lot of people who go into these types of businesses can make recreational money. They're having fun making the jewelry, sitting at the trade shows, making a few bucks. But let's say it rains that day. You sell five units. You've ended up making a dollar seventy-two an hour. You might have a great day where you sell a hundred of them. You're making pretty good money. You made about $891. You made a good income, decent income for the day. Other thing to factor, if you've got to make 500 of these, you're going to have to hire somebody and pay them a decent salary to do it. You might have a son or a daughter or a couple of buddies that can help you. So this is his doing the costing method of selling anything from jewelry to pictures to handcrafts and more.